Now I'm going to show you how to make your own yoghurt. And I don't want any jokes about macrame, open-toed sandals, cagoules or knitting your own yurt. Because even if you're not a hippie, making your own yoghurt is really cool, man. This is regular organic whole milk, about a litre and a half of it. Boiling the milk kills off any unwanted bacteria but then let it cool to about 45 degrees, that's a nice warm bath, before adding about 250 ml of good quality live yoghurt, which will kickstart the fermentation process. Straight away the yoghurt culture will begin to take over the milk and transform it into yoghurt, but it has to stay nice and warm, and there's a couple of ways of achieving that. Put it in a container and put the container in a warm place, or Put it straight into a thermos and put the lid on. Scalding your containers sterilises them and helps to ensure that the yoghurt mix doesn't cool too much when it's poured into them. And it's quite important that this is pretty nearly full or it won't hold its temperature. There we are. This can now go pretty much anywhere, whereas this jar wants to go somewhere nice and warm. And this little tea towel will help to keep the jar cosy. And that should be yoghurt in 10 or a dozen hours from now. Basically, it should be done by morning. Now, if the laws of thermodynamics and the rules of bacterial reproduction have behaved themselves, then the liquid milk should now be lovely thick yoghurt. Oh, yes, look at that. Whee! Looks like yoghurt. Smells like yoghurt. Mmm. Tastes like slightly warm yoghurt. It'll be much nicer when it's had a spell in the fridge. And that, surely, is a week's supply of yoghurt for any hungry family. And this is my last batch, which has been in the fridge. Look at that, lovely stuff. Always ready for a quick outing, especially at breakfast time. Homemade yoghurt, favourite jam. Favourite jam, homemade yoghurt. I use yoghurt all the time, and not just for breakfast, but mixed with herbs or spices to make a dip or swirled into soups, stews and curries. It's one of the handiest things to have in the fridge and best of all when homemade. Mmm, what a blissful union. Long may it continue. Don't scoff it all in one go. You'll need to keep some back to make mm. the next batch. That's so lovely.